Good morning, Taurus. This is your daily read for February 16th, Saturday, February 16th, 2019. Just wanted to say quickly, um, thank you to Rena1961. She pointed out to me that my video had been privated, your general reading. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. I definitely didn't do that myself. And I do have a little bit of security issues and, you know, stalkerish kind of issues. Used to it. It's been a long time. <laughs> I don't see it disappearing anytime soon either. So I really do appreciate it because I, I used to be vigilant about it in the beginning and watching all my videos, making sure they were fine. <clears throat> then I see people taking things that I put in the comment section and changing words, putting in different orders, and I'm just like, okay, well, just not going to put any comments then. And so, um, also when I write back to people, I just don't write anymore because I don't want that to be manipulated either. So thank you. If anybody sees anything's fucked up, please let me know. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> you know, I'm not making an hour long video, so nobody watches it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, other than that, yeah, something I'm really used to, but thank you, Rena. Thank you so much, Rena1961. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Um, lit some candles today just for a very relaxed, chill atmosphere. This is pure beeswax. I put amethyst crystals at the bottom. When I made this candle a while back, like a long time ago, I charged those crystals and put it in the candle. And then this one is a different one. It's um, soy flakes mixed with pure coconut oil virgin you know organic coconut oil and then um shea butter organic with a little bit of essential oils all natural so it smells divine it's fantastic and then i have some incense from india burning <clears throat> very calming very relaxing and i have my coffee so let's get into your daily read this is alliance try to tarot I'm going to use this to pull cards for your uh, five card spread. Then the Fashion Oracles and the Gateway Oracle cards by Denise Lynn. The Fashion Oracle cards are by Camilla Morton and illustrated by Anna Higgy. All right, so Taurus, this is your daily read for Saturday, February 16th. I'm gonna pull four cards. First card is a situation. There, see? Three cups. Beautiful. Second card is you. Third card is what's surrounding you. And the fourth card is the outcome. And when I pull the outcome card, I also take the card at the bottom of the deck for the underlying energy. All right, so we're going to pull a card now for you. This card is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This card represents Taurus. <clears throat> right off the bat, though, the situation is good times. Reunions, gatherings, going out with your friends, toasting, cheersing. Could even speak to reunions with people from your past. Family gatherings. It's a very social card, the Three of Cups. And it's also a very supportive card. Okay, Tori, so this card is you. <clears throat> I'm going to pull the card because it seems no more is popping out, which I'm not used to because usually with your daily reads, they all pop out like crazy. Can please get a card to represent Taurus. I'm going to give it a few more seconds, okay? Again, <clears throat> this is you, the hermit. Pick one for what's around you. Oh, 
there's what's around you <clears throat> the emperor and then let's get one card for the outcome star bottom of the deck seven of swords okay and the six of swords right before that okay so saturday this is the energy it looks like there is the situation is there's some kind of social gathering some party some reunion some function where everyone's going to get together. It could be people from your school, people from your hometown, your family, a family reunion, a family dinner, family party, friends, going out, inviting you. Some social event is the situation, okay? You look like you're going to stay in and you're not going because it's the hermit card. The hermit card is a fate card. The emperor is a fate card. The star is a fate card. All three of these are playing major energetic roles in your day on 16th of Saturday okay so it looks like this party other people are going to have this gathering you're not going you're choosing instead to spend time on your own to do some kind of you know whether it be meditation spiritual work um, keeping your own counsel doing your own thing basically so you're seeing the party but you're not going for whatever reason okay Around you, there's the Emperor card. We got this before last time as this was you. Emperor is the card of leadership. It's ruled over by the sign of Aries. And it's basically speaking to <clears throat> a situation where around you, it could be your boss that's uh, giving you work to do. It could be your boss. Um, some kind of... Well, the, the Aries and ruling over the Emperor. Emperor is just about someone very traditional, has a lot of responsibilities, overseeing his empire, fire energy, male energy, very powerful person, like a, I wouldn't say a patriarch, like a, like a, the head of a, a business or something along those lines. <clears throat> this generally speaks to needing to step up and take leadership and very um, fiery energy as well making things happen um, that's what's around you could be your boss could be someone who's an Aries now in the outcome you've got the star card <clears throat> the star card is about hope some kind of hope and faith that's needed because the star card is saying that it's not even needed it's that you have the hope and the faith towards something that you're 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 looking at and you're wishing for the star cards like when you wish upon a star you're wishing for something and then it's saying you're gonna get the outcome because you have that kind of strength of determination and faith in your stomach and your gut and your instincts that's telling you that if you just stick around hang in there you're going to get what you want but you've left a sad situation here because you got six of swords and seven of swords on the bottom seven of swords is the shaky start the shaky legs where you're trying to do something new trying to create something new a new life after leaving a situation that wasn't working out well for you almost looks like as well like you're turning your back on this emperor figure and looking towards the three of cups could speak to also whatever you're leaving whether it could be a controlling boss 
a despotic father figure, um, somebody who's controlling. Okay, Emperor can speak to control. And you're looking towards having more fun and engaging with, you know, social activities more because you've been playing the hermit mode. Why are you the hermit? Possibly being restricted as well by this emperor energy. Outcome is that there's hope and faith and that things will get better and you will get what you eventually want. It's just a shaky, shaky start. Okay, so... That's quite deep for a daily read. Let me just pull an oracle card. This is Gateway Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. Can we get a card for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 16th, please. Can't ignore it, though, because I'll tell you, I was doing this reading. Or I already started this reading once, okay? So I was shuffling the cards and nothing was happening nothing was popping out and i was like that, this is so weird all right i'll do it on my own then i was like okay and i just kept going and it wasn't working still and i was like okay maybe i need to light some incense and then i hear my phone go boop and it was it turned off because uh my storage was full so it was kind of like my spirit guides and i'm like okay i can't i can't work like this i'm letting you know i'm not here right now to do this because you need to delete that old stuff on your phone before we can even start taping. Then I had to do this all over again. But I didn't go too deep into it. It was literally like two minutes in. So, here we are. Can we get one Gateway Oracle card, please? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For February 16th, 2019. On the bottom, we've got coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. Okay. This could be the surrounding energy around you because you did get Emperor yesterday as the you card. You know, I was just trying to literally put it as a person around you, a situation around you, but it seems more like it's a... It's coming into the work card again. You know, putting in that energy into leadership, saying coming into power, I step into Emperor's about power. I step into my power boldly and confidently, proceeding softly. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. I love you, Tarot. And it makes sense. Coming into power, proceeding softly, my inner power grows in moments of quietude. And do you see how oracle cards pull it together? Because this is the hermit about solitude. So I was like, what the flick does the hermit and the emperor... Well, that's what it's talking about. Yeah, there's some social gathering. There's some kind of <clears throat> Saturday, some kind of reunion, some kind of energy like that. You could go or you could not go. I don't think you're going to go. It looks like, you know, you could. Because they wouldn't pull this card for no reason, right? If the situation, however it resonates for you, okay, it could work for you guys in different ways. Three of Cups is definitely social, definitely a reunion, a gathering, good times, definitely supportive, could be family, friends, or even an old bow or, you know, some flame from the past. Could be any of those things. The Hermit is about solitude. So when I'm looking at this, I was like, what the? Could be, I feel that you have been in Hermit mode. Okay, because we've been getting a lot of cards like Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, physical touch is important. Okay, so this is definitely not for the Taurians who, who are in relationships in, or, you know, active, let's say. Okay, in that way. But here it's saying there's power, there's fire energy around you. And if you look at your general reading, your bi-weekly general, I kept saying fire energy, fire energy, like literally like, you know, Hephaestus going to work okay i know venus was his wife and venus is actually what taurus is but she you know th that whole getting to work doing overtime mastering your craft energy has really been in play so that's this more fire leadership energy i'm going to read these to you let's read proceeding softly 
It says, my inner power grows in moments of quietude. Card meaning, go forward slowly and gently. Stop to smell the daisies and enjoy the view. Love and appreciate what is here now. All right. I'll read coming into power as well. I like these cards. I step into my power boldly and confidently. Card meaning, you have been gathering your inner forces and are coming into your own strength. Assume your power. Accept the vibrant truth that all you need is already within you. It is safe to own your deepest inner gifts. Hold on. When I saw proceeding softly, I think I missed another page. Because there's another page in the back. Sorry, guys. Okay, well, it's the morning. What do you want me to do? Yeah, there's a whole page in the back. <laughs> All right. The universe wants you to know about proceeding softly. When you take your time and go slowly, new perceptions blossom that you can't see if you're moving fast. Step out of the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct and tune into your deeper intuition. Power is born when you relax into the present moment. Questions to ask yourself. What is the underlying wisdom for me regarding being cautious? Is there an area of my life where I should slow down? Should I view a certain person or situation in my life with caution? Okay. Now I'll be coming into power. Okay, so yeah, you've been gathering your inner forces and are coming into your own strength. Assume your power, accept the vibrant truth that all you need is already within you. It is safe to own your deepest inner gifts. The universe, the universe wants you to know, if you have given away your authority to someone or something else, now is your chance to reclaim it. Pulling this card indicates that it is time to stand in your own light. If you are holding on to any beliefs that you won't be liked or will be rejected if you step into your potential, let them go. The more you shine in your own radiance, the more others can see the glow of their own capability. Your strength can heal others and bring light into the hearts of many. Questions to ask yourself. What has stopped me from expanding my potential in the past? How can I come into my power more fully? In what ways can I support and help others with my own strength? All right. There you go. So let me pull one fashion oracle card. Now this is for you guys. Some inspiration, as I say, something pretty to look at, something motivating, something inspiring. And I keep these readings short because they're dailies and I don't want to commit to, you know, super long readings and then give up, right? All right. So this is for Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus, for February 16th, 2019, please, Saturday. Let me give them some inspiration for Saturday. And I also have your weekly love reading coming up as well, okay? But I do have to do a few generals still. So I don't want to just ignore them. All right. Okay. I'm going to take that on the bottom. Rei Kawakubo. Be a work of art. Make shape your statement. Never compromise. Energize. All right. But the one we read is the one on top. Mary Kant. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. I'll look it up. Raise your hemline and your standards. When people look, make it worth a whistle. Every generation needs a new way to rebel. But let me read about it because it's always interesting. There's details, details that we get. Like yesterday, we got the song Freedom from George Michael. I like that. Mary Kant, where are you? Okay. Mary Kant, and I'm still pronouncing it that way because I don't know what the real pronunciation is. Uh, has the, was the 60s fashion designer in London. Her shop, Bazaar, on the King's Road was at the epicenter of the London's mod and youth quake movement. This was where hemlines were chopped and all was bold, pop, and technicolor. 
Kent was one of the first to produce mini skirts, hot pants, and leggings. Her signature Chelsea look was fun and more affordable than most high fashion, and her white patent knee-high boots, stripes, and bold checks came to be known as the London look. There you go. Okay, I hope that resonated for some of you, but I'm going to read Ray Kawakubo too, just for funsies, because we're here, and we might as well. All right. Rei Kawakubo is a highly respected Japanese fashion designer and the founding creative director of Comme des Garçons, Like Boys, which she owns with her husband, Adrian, Adrian Joff. Shy and reclusive, Kawakubo avoids interviews, preferring to let her conceptual designs do the talking. Having originally trained in the fine arts, she established her label in Tokyo in 1973, offering innovative creations in mainly black, white, or gray. That challenged the fashion constraints of the day. Kawakubo is also a driving force behind the Dover Street Market concept stores in London, Tokyo, and New York. Well, that wasn't that exciting, but I hope it resonated for somebody. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me see. I'm going to pull you another card, okay? Just cause. Just cause. Let me see what we have. All right, I'm going to pull you a card from, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm not going to pull this card. I'm going to use my new deck. The Buddha Wisdom Shakti Power, introducing and greeting to, introduction and greeting to, sorry, it's in gold, permanent impermanence. All right, I'm going to pull one kind of meditative, peaceful card for us, okay? Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like here we get some guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for today. Some divine guidance. For Sorry, for February 16th. Saturday, February 16th, please. Too many, too many, but thank you. Beautiful. Union of Wisdom and Compassion. God of Prosperity and Wealth. The Lotus Born One. And Bliss Swirls of Delight. But let me get one card, please. We get one card for Taurus for February 16th. Because these are extras, I'm going to just, you know, use some decks that I have that I don't normally use. Give me a chance to, you know, pull them out. All right, can you get a card for Taurus, please? This is for Taurus, Summon Rising and Venus for February 16th, Saturday, 2019. But like, seriously, I haven't even read the book. I just opened this, looked at the pretty beautiful pictures of the Buddhas, and then I put it back. But I want to be not just putting them in a respectful way somewhere and not using them. So I want to actually get them out. All right, I'm going to pick one. We're not getting one. bottom. Okay, a fierce purba wielding blue dakini. Conduit from the sky to the earth. Be fierce and vanquish whatever is holding you back. I'll put that in here. I'll put the bottom one here. Underlying energy here saying blue dakini. Be fierce and vanquish whatever is holding you back, and then the one on top. It's beautiful. Woo! Dorji Trollo, the crazy wisdom, wrathful Buddha. Let go of being logical. A higher wisdom will guide you. These are all enlightened beings. So there's nothing, you know, like Kuan Yin and those, but they're all the same. They're all the same because they're all enlightened. All right. Let me read you number 27. 
the crazy wisdom wrathful Buddha. Dorji Trollo is one of the eight manifestations of Padma Sambhava, a historical figure who is considered to be the archetype embodiment of all the accumulated knowledge, wisdom, love, and power of the Buddhist tradition. He rides through the jungle of life on a tigress, and he holds a purba, a magical dagger for his work. Padma Sambhava was instrumental in establishing Buddhism in Tibet, bringing it from India in the 8th century. As he traveled through the land, he encountered many demons and spirits intent on blocking his progress as they knew his work was very powerful. Thirteen times he appeared as Dorji Trollo to subdue the harmful spirits of the lands and turn them onto the path of Buddhism. He was, in a way, a proselytizer of the best kind, convincing each demon to come to the aid of the Dharma teachings rather than inhibiting them. These creatures are the origins of many of the demonic deities one sees in Tibetan Tangas. Horrific monsters from your worst nightmares turned into pussycats. Padma Sambhava has eight major manifestations, that is, eight energetic states that he can take on as teacher. He transforms his teaching approach for each situation in order to teach in whatever way will work for different students in different times. Dorji Trollo is an example of Padma Sambhava's reputation of working outside the norms of a culture, a man who discarded the path of normal logic and convention. There is a term in Buddhism called crazy wisdom he personified this quality beautiful and then we've got number 48 i'll read that too a fierce pulled purba wielding blue dakini conduit from the sky to the earth okay so this is the purba over here and it's supposed to uh, cut through the three poisons something like greed anger and lust okay so this dakini holds her purva dagger in the staking uh, position as her scarf billows around her in the inky gloom of delusion she is fiercely committed to pinning down any obstructions to the dharma and helping humanity even in the face of heavy dark forces she is dark blue as in the tradition of the movement center who commissioned her she is part of the buddha family in the center of mandalas her color represents the central energy channel in the body, the shushumna, where in advanced Buddhist practice, the energy is absorbed and flows upward to break open the dragon gate at the crown of the head, creating enlightenment. Dakinis manifest in many forms and represent the potency of female energy to give birth, representing the creation of newness of ideas, beings, and levels of awareness. They range from beings with some levels of spiritual power, like sprites or fairies, to fully realized beings. They help arouse the energy of wisdom in tantric practitioners. A purba is a magical implement. It is the main tool of the deity Vajrakilaya, a magician form of the historical figure Padmasambhava, both of who, both of who are hiding here in this deck of cards as well. They are used for many magical feats. Wooden ones can be used for healing and metal ones for exorcism or transforming the three poisons of attachment, craving, and desire. They can pin down negative energies from the mind stream of a harmful entity or human person and dispel dark forces from a society or a single person. They are used in consecrations, meditation, and weather making. They fix space to the earth like a lightning rod, creating a conduit between them. Whew, heavy. Oh, wow. I love this deck. It's beautiful. Look at this. It's freaking gorgeous. All the pictures got Ganesha. It's got all these different deities, Dakinis. It's amazing. Look at that. There's two of these dancing with Gan dance with Ganesh. Hindu deities that are enlightened as well. Oh, my goodness. I like this. I got to find some way to use this. All right. So that was that reading Taurus. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Okay, just because I was a little bit out there for you guys, you know what? I'll pull one more. <laughs> this is me when I know I have readings to do <laughs> that aren't for Taurus. And I'm I'm just, you know, taking forever because I enjoy doing Taurus readings. This is Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, this is something much more relatable for most of you. Two cards. Thinker, deep knowing. 
okay, and round and round on the bottom. But I'm going to pick one card. I'm going to pick one card, and I'm just going to read you the general message, okay? And perhaps even... Um, I'll read all of it. Why not? If you guys got the time, it's always fun to get another card. This is Victoria, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 16th, 2019, please. But uh, every day is not going to be this long. Some days might be just like 10 minutes. Just feel like, you know, look, I don't know what it is. Today felt like lighting the candles, felt like using that Buddha stack, felt like adding another Oracle card. All right. So this is for Taurus, please. Summer Rising and Venus for February 16th, 2019. On the bottom, observer, someone watching you, you're watching something and exchanging gifts. Beautiful. Exchanging gifts. Okay, this is a mother piece tarot here. Put these with this together. I'll put this one here. All right. And observer. So let's read exchanging gifts. Essential meanings, the law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. The Oracle's message, you're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them, yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. The relationship message, prosperity message, and protection message. I'll read all three. They're short. Relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. All right, so maybe you will join the party here, the reunion. All your hard work and efforts, your commitment to learning, creating, and spending your time wisely pay off in ways you may not have been anticipating. The gifts of yourself, your time, your ideas, and the energy of your intentions are being reciprocated by the universe, which is sending you signs and signals, aligning synchronistic meetings and opportunities to bring you success and more. Everything is an exchange. Keep doing what you're doing. Goodwill comes back tenfold. Now, the protection message sometimes can be a little contrary. So if this is what resonates for you and you've been going through conflict, then this is what's for you, okay? And if, it if it's um, contrary to the other two messages, well, ignore the other two then if, if you're not concerned with career or if you're not concerned about your relationship. Protection message. Be careful what you pray for because you just might get it. And then realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but know you will have to walk away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay, though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being only the giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent dynamic or holding on to a false sense of control. 
Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. The time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. Beautiful. And if you checked out your general reading, guys, Taurus, you saw, uh, was it general? Was it, it was, ah, I don't remember. It was boundaries, black tourmaline boundaries. Okay. Protection. Whatever you're doing, you've been making moves and being creative and working hard for that. Always when you're working towards a goal, you get obstacles. Those obstacles, you see it, don't get hung up on it. Keep pushing forward. And it says boundaries. If you have a relationship where someone takes from you or drains your energy, boundaries. You don't have to cut them off completely. But, you know, say no if you have to a hundred times more than you say yes. And that's your reading, Taurus. This just happened. Okay, that's how tarot works. This, is, this just happened like this. Again, um, Rena, 1961, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to link some videos for the end of this. And, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I wish I could just... Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm talking too long. I might have to edit my pause out there. My dramatic pause. I was thinking, um, yeah, your, your monthly reading for February for love is up. Your weekly is up. I'll link it at the end. And, uh, yeah, please guys, if you see anything weird, uh, let me know. Okay. And I'll have your love reading for, uh, what is it? The 15th to the 21st up today. Okay. I got to get through, uh, I think, two or three more generals. So I have uh, some, some work ahead for me. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Saturday. Have a great time with your family. If you have a reunion or something, go for it. Have a great time. Um, there is this shaky effort here with Seven of Swords. Try it, trial and error. Shaky start. No big deal. Other than that, I hope that resonated for you. Hope it wasn't too out there. Love you guys. Take care. Bye for now.